last night on the UCLA campus near Pasadena, California, where we are to live and work intensely for five days in the musical and marching preparation of the Rose Bowl show. December 8th was the end of our semester in Ann Arbor, which meant that uh, with the necessary planning, with study days, and with semester examinations, no preparation or rehearsals could be held in Ann Arbor. The entire show, music and marching, would have to be prepared in about five days. The first thing to do is to get the new formation charts in the hands of the bandsmen. Then the field must be checked, and we give some preliminary instructions. Starting six inches out of line. This ball is up. Second man is up. Third man, bullet man, we come. That away. That away. We're going back into the entry line. Cut the entry line. Front entry line right now. Watch it back again. With Dr. Avelli and our entire staff, it's all based on fundamentals. These come first, and so we begin our work without instruments, on alignment, on stride, on carriage, on step-offs and halts, and everything that goes to make a great show. Oh, <laughs> 
Everybody, right at the beginning. And they do it right there because it starts them down the avenue. <laughs> real fine column to column right. And uh, then you go for a long ways and you don't make any more columns. You go straight down the street. But unfortunately, they got you already. There's no cameras when you're marching straight down, straight down, but there are when you're making this column right. So we've got to sharp this marching. We've got to sharpen up everything we're doing. Now, we're not this kind of a band. We're, we're a college gridiron band. We happen to be in a parade, which we never do. We never do a parade. I mean, this kind of a parade, where you do military movement. In fact, I just wonder if the band wouldn't march a lot better if they weren't so far apart. I think one of our problems is the spacing and the... And the uh, you won't be able to march this on Colorado Avenue anyway. All right, let's do this now. Let's put them in close quarters. Hey! One, two, okay, let's go. Yeah, two more. You got a little bit. All right, let's get the files dressed up. Oh, look at it. What are you doing standing there? Good. What kind of file? Quickly. We got a man back there that doesn't even know what file he belongs to. Right. 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 Instruction has to be broken down to the individual bandsman and to his rank in order to achieve true perfection. Here is where real esprit de corps is developed. afternoon we are at Disneyland for a short parade and concert and last night we presented a concert to a packed house in the Pasadena City Auditorium. I'm sure that midway through this grueling week these appearances provide a welcome bit of relief and entertainment for the bandsmen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Livermore, Kentucky, the Major Mark Brown. It just seems like every weekday going down to practice, I feel like, what am I doing here? And I gripe and complain all through the rehearsals like everybody else. But Saturdays, the performances of the games really turn me on. It's really a gas. I really like it. It's really a thrill. Still, three years. The oldest and the most intense tradition in the band is the pride band, the fierce pride that each rank has. Each rank has their own style and uh, things that they do on parade march. It's, they're very jealous of these moves and no one else can copy them. It's uh, pride within the whole band, of just an uh, intense, fierce thing that when anyone else cuts the band, uh, they won't let anyone get away with that. seems to be a pain and you wonder if it's worth it to be a headline rain. For instance, sometimes during the course of the week, we'll have to change the show and we'll have to eliminate certain things and we'll have to add certain things. So you'll have studies to do at night and, uh, for instance, you'll have an exam or a paper due the next day and you find out that you have to distribute a couple of new pieces of music to 200 men. But uh, you can't think of yourself because there's 200 guys waiting on you and there's nothing you can do. So it's just long hours, that's all. I find the uh, position of equipment manager is quite rewarding. Being in charge of uh, all the instruments and uniforms and props and stuff gives you a chance to help a lot of the younger guys in the band. Uh, I've got a real great staff and they help out a lot of the work.
above you, really giving out. Yes, the band is a tremendous amount of work. It's awfully time-consuming, but it's also a tremendous amount of fun. I tell you, there's a bunch of really great guys out there in the band. Um, when things get a little tough, the going gets rough, tempers flare, and uh, we all seem to get a little hot under the collar. We just all get together in our little song fest and have a good time and sort of uh, really enjoy life. And the guys, the guys are what makes the band what it is. It's, uh, we have fine, a fine staff and fine directors, but it's the men themselves who go out and do the work and have a good time doing it. We get in and pitch together and uh, just have a great time at it. My name is Tim Bartholow. I'm from Cambridge, Ohio. And you can tell I'm a little hot now with the band. Uh, we have a hard time sometimes. It's discouraging. Every time we take a little uh, hard time from the director, but it's fun. We enjoy it. We wouldn't be here if we didn't enjoy it. or doing a thing poorly so many times, it's unbelievable. You never know, buddy. They're right on you. Now, still retain that sharpness, that drive, that spirit, that old zip, and that go. That Michigan spirit, right? Yeah. Then, right, eight, one, two, three. One, three, oh. Nice spirit on that file. intensive drill, six, seven hours a day, and of course it's of course it's shaping up quite well. All we've done is rehearse and play. We've never been off the campus, so that's all we've done. Work, work, work. We're looking forward to a great show tomorrow. That's quite a hike, about seven and a half miles. We're getting up at five o'clock in the morning, and we will be on, on the march from about eight until 11.45 then rush over to the Rose Bowl and do our pregame at halftime. And by that time, it's going to be about eight or nine hours of marching. And of course, we're, we are going to bed early this evening to get ready for that. It's a very difficult job and a lot of work, but it's exciting and thrilling, and I know the boys will enjoy every bit of it.
planet Earth first set foot upon the moon. July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind.